I felt very welcome there. You know, the moon's been waiting for us for thousands of years. Millions of years, maybe. Unless someone else has already been there before us at some time, that's possible. Although we didn't see any evidence of that. Felt like I was the only one there, but not an alien. Not an alien in terms of invading someone else's domain. I didn't find the moon hostile or I found it very majestically beautiful. Bland in color, but majestically beautiful. Yeah, look at that glass covered one right there, John. Pretty good size, isn't it? Yeah. It looks like it's about three days old. So it must be on the order of four billion. Let's fill this one up and then uh, uh Ah rat. Bet you that looks like a comedy of errors on a tube. Yeah. Oh, still. That is a crystalline rock, if I've ever seen a crystalline rock. First one today. Yeah. We gotta get over this ridge, John. You wanna take off and go that way now? Yeah. Hey, John, did you make those little footprints here around the sun? Yeah, I guess you did. Right, did. Ah, the old footprints on a crater rim. There's a good rock right there. Look at the size of that rock! I thought this thing was just right next door to us. Well, Tony, that's your house rock right there. It's got black streaks uh, coming out of it. Uh, Yeah, this is tough going here. So let me have the shovel. Oh, I'll get it, ma'am. Just a minute. Good deal, boy. There you go. I can't get going here. Okay, and you've got about 10 minutes left before we'll have to leave. Is that okay for you? Yep, sure is. 338 is the soil sample. That is the best sample we got. I know it. I'll tell you. You just had to steal time now and then. You just had to stop chipping at a rock and figure out that bringing back a little bit of, of some kind of thought and feeling was as important as bringing another chunk of rock back. And not being a machine, but being a human being, you have to stop and say, do you know where you are and what you're looking at? And try and take in, in those few moments of privacy you have, everything there is to take in in that moment. And you've got five minutes here. And all of a sudden, you've got to get to work. Okay, Houston, as I stand out here in the... Wonders of the unknown in Hadley, I realize there's a fundamental truth to our nature. Man must explore. One of the things you got to stop and do, make sure, is to have fun, too. Because you're only probably going to come this way once. I was strolling on the moon one day. In a merry, merry month of December, how May, May, when they're much to my surprise, a pair of bunny eyes. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, is this a neat way to travel? Isn't it great? I like to skip along, but me, boy, skip. Or whatever you call it. I can't get my left leg in front of me. It was almost dangerous. You lose sight of the fact that it's a vacuum out there, and if you spring a leak next to it, you're going to be dead. Uh oh. Do I 
I like to run up here. I was able to really realize what this place was like that we had landed in. I had tried to anticipate what it would be like for many years, but it was obvious that there was no way one could have anticipated what it would be like to stand in the valley of uh, Taurus Littrell, a place deeper than the Grand Canyon and equally as spectacular, see this brilliantly illuminated landscape with a brighter sun than anyone had ever stood in before with a blacker than black sky and then to top the whole scene off in this blacker than black sky was a beautiful brilliantly illuminated blue marble that we call the earth the path of evolution is now in space as much as on earth man has showed that uh, as a species mankind was willing to commit itself to living in environments that were completely different than those in which the species evolved. Put a shield of life around ourselves in order to protect the life within, but the willingness to go out there is there. We've shown that. The curve of human evolution has been bent. Okay, I'm it's time to load up right now. Okay, hey, we're on the way again, Tony. Okay, we'd like you to drive gingerly up to the ALSEP area there. Okay, we're going up. We'll go right or left. We want to head, uh, just keep going west. Oh, I'm sorry. Look to left. Gonna expect trouble from backseat drivers. Okay, we copy that, John. Huh? Look at this, baby. I'm really getting confident today, now. Just back wheels off the ground. Charlie, whatever you do, don't hit that brake. I grabbed three drivers out of the gap. This is about the neatest thing I ever saw. Just back to the limb, right, Tony? Yeah, you bet your life. Okay, we're going and you're well ahead on the timeline. You've been making good time. They must have forgot something. Sure. Yeah, like well, everything is running. We're just about to start up up slope here. Have we been climbing, John? Look at that pitch meter. Pegged out high. Hey, we have been climbing. Tony, we've really been, we really, we don't feel like we're climbing, but we've been climbing for quite a while here. And we're going up a steep, steep slope, John. I'll tell you. Look at that, Charlie. I don't see one. What? What? Well, I'll be doggone. Look at that! Charlie, you said you were going to see some other tracks on the moon. I knew it. Ha 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 ha. Hey, we're going back down our tracks, Tony. Okay, good show. There she is, John. Somebody up there likes us. Don't run into our hole. <laughs> I felt like I was an alien as I traveled through space. But when I got on the moon, I didn't feel that at all. I felt uh, at home there, even though the Earth was a long ways away. We could see it directly above, about the size of a marble, and realize that we're there. But by the grace of God, I felt like I was at the end of a thin cord that, that could be cut at any time. It was precarious, but yet I felt comfortable. I felt something other than just what we can visually sense. A spiritual presence was there. <laughs> 